Hi YouTube. Um, today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make hot sauce tea. Um, I'm also going to explain some other kind of teas for your plants uh, for fungicide reasons as well as for bugs and so I thought I would show it to you. I know, I know. Um, you're probably wondering what this is. Let me draw it closer here. You see that? I decided to kiss a piece of wood. So I have a little clip to show you what happened. I hope you enjoy it. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to make tea. At least for your plants anyway. Alright. See this bunch of wood here? Hope you can hear me. My son's mowing the neighbor's yard. Anyway, this is a big huge pallet I got plus a bunch of wood. I'm going to use some of it for building some tables for our greenhouse and other, others probably for some firewood. But anyway, this right here is the culprit to my face. I had a piece of cardboard on the back here in the middle right about there and I pulled it off so that no one would go ahead and um, fly off when I was driving and I come this way and I'm looking at it you know and then all of a sudden I turn my head and what do I find? I kissed or I should say my eye kissed this edge of this piece of wood. It's a good thing that this thing wasn't pointing outward. I could have lost an eye. So anyway that is what my face looks like. I even have an indentation of the edge of this piece of wood. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's going to be pretty. So anyway, I'm sure I'm going to get a black eye, but all right, let's get back to why I was creating this film in, or video in the first place. Come with me. So there you have it. A uh, piece of wood kissed my face. What can I say? Alright, so I have my hot sauce. You can buy the cheapest brand if you want, or you can buy the name brand, it doesn't matter. It's all up to you. I bought the cheapest brand. And make sure that it's hot. I'm going to test this. I haven't tested it before. I have used garlic sprays. I've used baking soda sprays, but those are for diseases. And also garlic can be used for pest control. Um, but I have found that also it can kill beneficial bugs. So be careful when using it. I go ahead and now drench my roots instead of going ahead and spraying on them. And you can do that too. However, you might find aphids or other bugs that you want to get rid of that's on the back of your leaves or on top, it doesn't matter, because they are smart enough to go ahead and hide when there's danger, as you know. And so what we're going to do is make hot sauce tea. So what you need is a bottle. It, this one's a 28 ounce bottle. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of hot sauce in this thing. You know what? I think I'm going to make it smart and use a funnel. However you want to use it, shove it in there. So I'm going to pour some and it's going to take a while to get this out. So we're going to try our best. And you know what? It doesn't matter how much hot sauce you put in there. You just want to make sure that it's hot. You can go ahead and use onions. I've heard you can use onions. You can use um, hot peppers. I, I would like to see what happens with the, the ghost pepper, but I don't want to ruin my plants either. So. We'll see about that. I don't even have that plant yet, and maybe one day I will and grow it. But I heard it's pretty hairy. It makes a, man, a grown man cry, and maybe even more. Who knows? Anyway, so I stuck my hot sauce in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and use one tablespoon of dish soap for every two cups of water. Now I have 28 ounces here and so that's what? Three cups? So I'll use one and a half tablespoons. So I've been thinking about this and I thought you know you can use any dish soap not the detergent soap that's too harsh but any detergent soap but I was thinking about this and I was thinking well if I use antibacterial 
Won't that kill the good bacteria on my plants? I don't want to kill that bacteria. And so this is my theory. I don't know if it's right or not, but this is my theory. Anyway, just use a regular soap that doesn't have antibacterial. You can use an organic. You can also go to the store and buy the organic insecticide soap. It's up to you. For me, I'm just going to use something just cheap. The soap will not only go ahead and make the make the sauce clean to your plants, it's also going to go ahead and break down the outer skeletal of the body of the bug and they don't like that. So that's okay, right? So let me go ahead and fill this water up because now I stuck this in and I still have to stick my water in, which could mean that I'm going to have a problem. So, you know, I started thinking about it. I was going to use my city water. And I, in my, one of my videos, I told you not to use city water unless it's been sitting overnight because of the chlorine. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to use my organic, well, I, I guess I... It is organic. It's coming from the mountains. My irrigation water. So I'm going to use irrigation water. You can use city water. I recommend that you go ahead and use it the day after so that it sits instead because of the chemicals that destroy bacteria. And I really don't want to kill good bacteria. I just want to put this stuff on my plant to save my plants. Um, my greenhouse is just outside my front door and I want to make sure that um, there's no bugs that are going to get in. With this being an older home, 1979, um, there's a lot of windows that need to be replaced and that's a lot of windows. I mean you're talking 39 windows and so we're just going to go ahead and use what we can. And that's the phone. And I'm having a problem. Sorry about that. Um, that was my husband. He calls me around lunchtime and we talk for about a half an hour while he's at work. It's a lot of fun. And I also was overfilling with bubbles on my bottle. And that was flipping me out because I, the phone was ringing, this was spilling, and I had to fix it all. So anyway. Back to the sauce. So we stuck the sauce in and we stuck the uh, dish soap in and now what we'll do is we'll swirl it. Uh, swirling it will keep from getting too much suds, unless you want suds, you can always have suds, I don't care. But you swirl it around and then you spray on the underneath and on the top of your plants. You can go ahead and test it on one leaf first just to see if your leaf or your plant doesn't like it or you could go ahead and spray the whole thing, which I did. I have two eggplants and one outside. Um, so I sprayed the whole thing. We just spray it this, you know, this way. I've already done it, so I'm just demonstrating it. Go ahead and spray it. This little hole right here is probably from the rain that was outside. This is my transplanted um, eggplant. Remember, I had these outside and then I went ahead because it's fall time. I took them in and replanted them in the pots so that they can grow up during the winter time and we can have eggplants during the winter time. Or at least that's what we're hoping for. We'll see. So, make sure that you spray all along here. It's going to get your little bugs, your gnats, and, and your spider mites, and aphids, and thripes, and a few other things. And it will not get all the big bugs. Um, I found out though that snails don't like hot sauce tea. Um, anything you can do. You can go ahead and ground out hot peppers and strain it and stick it in water and go ahead and spray it with that. Or you could go ahead and take, I've heard peppermint works too, um, which smells better too. But the hot, the better. They don't like the heat. They don't like what's in um, hot peppers. They just don't like it. And it breaks it down um, on top of the fact that the dish soap does too. It breaks down their skeletal system. The other thing you can do is like for ants, you can put yellow cornmeal right beside their, their 
homes and their ant hills and they will take it down and they'll all die because it swells up in their system. They can't digest it like we can. Um, also, cornmeal is a good fungus uh, killer. Uh, apparently, um, you can do this to soak your feet in if you have some kind of fungus thing on your feet. I don't, but I mean it's something to do with like if you have yellow toenails and other kind of funguses, it helps kill it off. Um, I think even ringworm. So try it if you have something like that. And I don't, so I haven't tried it. But what I have tried is the ant hill thing, and it works. And then this fall, I'm gonna. I don't have horticultural cornmeal. I have uh, yellow cornmeal, and I'm gonna. I can't find it around here. We cannot find horticulture, and I really don't want to pay the shipping price for horticultural cornmeal. Just too expensive. Not worth it. So I'm gonna buy yellow cornmeal, and I'm gonna check it out and see what it does to my lawns. I heard that it helps prevent seeds from growing. So I'm going to stick it on my front yard because my backyard is pathetic. And we're going to go ahead and stick it all out, out there this fall. We're going to stick it again on the spring and just see what happens, see if it works. I got a lot of bindweed. Um, they said that when you have bindweed in your lawn, do not mulch it. Uh, bag it and throw it away. And then you can stick the stuff on and eventually that stuff dies down. So we'll see what happens. Back to the teas. There are all kinds of teas. There is baking soda tea, which is baking soda and water and either vegetable uh, oil or your dish soap so that it cleans to your plants. That helps in different kinds of funguses on your leaves. Um, I told you about the garlic tea. You take garlic cloves and puree them and then you strain them and stick them in water or you can have it set overnight and then strain it. You can use onions. You can use um, also you can use the tomato leaves and there's all sorts. You just look it up on the internet for organic homemade uh, pesticides and fungicides solutions and there's a whole mess. Anyway. Enjoy the hot sauce tea. I'm going to spray it on all my plants. I'm also going to spray it around my indoor uh, greenhouse just to see what happens. And I hope you enjoy it. And have a wonderful weekend. Chat with you later. This is my son. See? He's happy.